Welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. Today I got a chicken recipe for you. I know you're gonna love. Call this one my Jack and Coke chicken. We're gonna brine some thighs and some coke, get them out on the smoker, season them up a little bit, and then put together this Jack Daniels glaze. It's gonna go awesome with chicken. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do today is get a little bit of seasoning on our chicken. We're starting with some bone-in, skin-on thighs. These are fresh thighs I picked up at the grocery store. I'm just gonna lay them out here. I really haven't trimmed these much. I don't care if they have a little excess fat on them, a little excess skin. These are eating thighs. So I want them to be as big as possible, want them to be juicy, we want to keep that fat on there and cook it down for some flavor. So this is my AP rub. You want to just use a good um, all-around, all-purpose seasoning. It's got some salt, some pepper, and garlic, so it'll give it some great flavors. Let's get both sides. Let's get these thighs in the bag here. So now we're ready for our wet ingredients. The first thing I want to add is some soy sauce, then I'm going to add a Coke. This is just regular Coca-Cola. We're doing Jack and Coke chicken, so you got to use the real deal. Now we want this chicken to hang out in the marinade for about an hour or two. It's all it needs with that Coke. You don't want it to work too much on it. Drop it down in a bowl, stick it in the refrigerator just in case there's any spills. We'll show you how we're going to cook it just here in a few minutes. Now that our chicken's brined for a couple hours, it's time to get some seasoning on it, get it in his pans, and get it out on the smoker. So the first thing I did, I just kind of pulled it out of the brine, laid it skin side down, because I want to get a little seasoning on this back side now before we put it on. So now we flip the thighs over to skin up. I'm just going to hit them with a little more AP on top. You don't want to go real heavy because we've already seasoned them with both sides before we brine them. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to shape these thighs up. You want to wear gloves, keep them from getting things contaminated. When you're working with chicken, raw chicken especially, you want to always be careful. And I just use the thighs to hold each other's shape. You want to put them in the pan tight. It's okay if there's a little bit of that brine left over from them. That's just going to cook as we put them out on the smoker. We're going to be cooking them in this pan. Now we've got a good pan of chicken. All the skin's held down. So now we're going to start adding pats of butter. And I'm using an unsalted butter. Just cut one stick of it up into little pats and spread it around the pan. The butter's going to give it a lot of good flavor as it cooks and as it smokes. It's going to kind of simmer in this melted butter, make it real tender and real juicy. And since we touched it just a little on top, I'm just going to go back lightly, a little of that AP. Now our chicken's ready for the smoker. I'm going to let it hang out just for a few minutes while I go outside and be cooking on my drum smoker today. I'm going to bring it up to about 300 degrees and we'll go outside and get that ready. We'll get this chicken on get it to cook it. So I've got my gateway drum fired up today. If you're cooking along with me, you can cook on any smoker. You just want to be running it up around 300 degrees. That's where I've got the drum set. And you know, if so I've got my top all the way open, I've got my side vents, just a good crack on each side. That sits 300 degrees perfect on one of these drums. I'm burning a good lump charcoal with a little bit of cherry smoke. You don't need a ton of smoke for chicken, but you do need that 300 degree temperature to get that skin right. Let's get this chicken on. I'm just setting the pan right dead center of the rack. Whenever you're cooking with a drum, you want to be kind of fast. Put your lid on and off. That way your temperatures don't change much. They'll bounce right back. All we've got to do is hold this cooker steady, 300 degrees. It's going to take about an hour. We're going to start checking our internal temperature. I'm not wrapping. I'm not doing anything else. Just letting it smoke in that pan with that melted butter. It's going to be delicious. We're going to go inside. We're going to put together that Jack Daniel sauce we're going to glaze this chicken with. Let's get it done. While the chicken's cooking outside on the smoker, I want to show you how I'm going to put together this Jack Daniel's whiskey glaze for the chicken. First, we're going to start with a little dark brown sugar, some soy sauce, some teriyaki sauce, pineapple juice, a little water to add some volume. We're going to bring that to a boil. We're going to reduce that heat down to a low simmer. Then we're going to add some roasted garlic that we've mashed up. We're going to add a little bit of lemon juice, our Jack Daniels whiskey, a good shot of that. We're just going to keep cooking it down until it, until it reduces by half. Right at the very end, I'm going to add about a cup of Killer Hogs barbecue sauce. It's going to kind of give it that whiskey barbecue glaze that I'm looking for on this chicken. And this is what the mixture is going to look like 
once it's all incorporated and starts to thicken up after you reduce it a little bit. And you wanna let it cool. Uh, it doesn't need to be real hot when we glaze it. You just want it a little above room temperature, just finger warm. And I'm just gonna let this sit here and continue to cool on the cutting board while our chicken finishes up outside. We're gonna go check in about the hour mark. Okay, our chicken's been cooking right along on the drum for about an hour, and I wanna check on it, because that's usually about as long as I let it go in a pan. Oh, and you can see, you know, we got a nice brown color here. That's what I wanted to see on the skin. Butter's uh, melted down, and it's just bubbling. That means uh, it's cooked really good in this butter bath. That's what you wanna get that butter all around it like that. Now we're gonna take it out and get it out of the butter. We're gonna take it inside to do so. And be real careful, make sure you wear some good gloves underneath your nitrile gloves if you're gonna do this, because this pan is hot. So the first thing we're gonna do is get these chickens out of this butter bath. And I wish I could smell this. I mean, you just can't beat chicken swimming in butter. It's unbelievable, and it's not quite done. We cooked it up, um, if I had to check the internal, it was about 165 degrees, but I want to take thighs up to at least 175. We're gonna pick up the rest of this temp once we get them glazing out there. Now you'll notice I've got the chicken sitting on one of these larger racks here. These are one of our pork racks, and it just makes the job easier getting the chicken from here outside back on the grill. Transport is real easy. Now we're gonna get it glazed. We're just gonna take our sauce here, dunk each thigh in it real quick, let it sit on the rack, get a little color, a little messy job, so it helps to have it on that rack, let it drain, have a full line pan underneath it. So we've got all the thighs dumped in the glaze. Now we're gonna take them back outside, finish them off over some heat. Let's get back out to the cooker. So we're gonna let them glaze about 10 minutes. We're gonna come out, check them out, probably give them a little re-dip. We'll just keep cooking them until we hit that internal temperature of 175. We'll start checking it here in a few minutes. Let's get the lid back on. Right, our thighs have been on for about 10 minutes glazing here. And I want to get another little glaze on top of them. They're looking great. That's some nice color. It glaze is caramelizing. I'm just going to use a brush, put a little more on them. Finish and touch before we get them off. They're going to go about another 10 minutes. They'll be right where we want them. You don't want to brush them too much. Just kind of let that glaze run all over them. All right, we're gonna get the lid back on real quick. Another 10 minutes, we're gonna come out and check the internal temps. We should be just right on these Jack and Coke glazed thighs. All right, we've done our final 10 minutes of glaze on that second little brushing of it. We've got that color looking just right on these thighs. I mean, you, you, I wish you could smell these. I know I keep saying that, but they smell awesome. The glaze has really made a nice color on them. This is what you want to see on some chicken coming off a drum or coming off any grill. I'm going to get them inside, just pick the whole rack up, walk right inside with them, set them on the cutting board. Can't wait to try one of these. So we got the thighs inside, got them on a platter, they're cooling down. The last thing I would do to them, maybe just give them a little pop, fresh parsley, you know, just for a little color. You don't have to, but I think it looks cool. So before I try one of these thighs today, let's talk real quick about what we did. We started with some fresh thighs, seasoned them with a little of that AP, that salt, pepper, garlic on both sides. We got them in a Ziploc bag, poured in a bottle of Coke, about a quarter cup of soy sauce. That's all that was in that brine. Let them go about two hours in the refrigerator. We brought them out of the refrigerator, seasoned them again, just lightly on both sides, got them shaped up and in a metal pan, ready for the grill. We cut up one stick of unsalted butter, placed it all around the pan and we got them out of a 300 degree grill. Little bit of cherry smoke going. They went one hour in that butter bath, just cooking, just getting happy, cooking all that butter flavor in them. That's what made them nice and tender. Then we put our sauce together. What made the sauce special was the Jack Daniels, but it's got brown sugar, it's got pineapple preserved, it's got pineapple juice, it's got a little barbecue sauce. That all cooked down, that glazed down. That's what made the sticky glaze that's on the outside. We cooked them about 10, 15 more minutes after they come out of that butter, and this is what we have, and I can't wait to try one. I'm gonna go right in here and get one of these thighs here. Ooh, these drugs are still smoking hot. Mm. Let's cut a bite off here, see what we're working with. I'm going for all that, look how juicy it is. Cooked through and through. Mmm. Wow. That Jack Daniels glaze has got some awesome flavor. It's sweet, it's a little bit tangy, and you can pick up some of that caramelized notes of the Jack Daniels. It's not too strong at all. 
That's an awesome flavor. That chicken's juicy, it's moist through and through, but it's cooked perfect. I mean, you can see there's no paint. It's just all perfectly cooked, even on bottom. It's got a nice texture. It's got really, really good grill notes from that barrel being over those coals and the, how it drips down when it's glazed, and that gives it a nice flavor profile there at the end. You gotta try this Jack and Coke chicken the next time you're firing up the grill. I promise you're gonna like it. Hey, if you wanna find out when we're putting out these videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It'll send you an email to let you know when we put them out. We're gonna be doing them all year long. You can also uh, hit us up with the questions on Facebook and Twitter. We'd love to answer those. We'll see you next week.